All right, guys, you are blocking God's blessings. And what do I mean by that? So what I mean is the things that you are looking for God to do for you, the things that you want to receive from the Lord, you are the reason you're not receiving them. You're blocking them um, by unconfessed sin or by a lack of faith, which is what my personal issue was. And I'm speaking from personal experience here. We just went through a three-day conference, uh, a revival at my church. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And the, the one thing that I've been praying for that I hadn't been receiving was the gift of speaking in tongues. Um, I thought it was for everybody else but me. I thought that I couldn't receive it. Uh, I thought it was foolish. I thought that the people that I did see that were doing it were faking it. And that blocks you from receiving that blessing, right? You are in filled with the Holy Spirit from the day that you choose to accept Christ into your life. There's no accepting Jesus without the Holy Spirit. And if you have the Holy Spirit, there's no way that you don't have the gift of speaking in tongues because the Bible says it's for all, um, not just some. It's not for the elite. There's no levels of Holy Spirit. You, you don't receive him without receiving the gifts. And so usually that's the first sign that you're filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, but I was blessed with the gift of discernment as well. So I knew that if I could have discernment, I can have the gift of speaking in tongues. And so I just felt it welling up in me and it started from my feet and just went all the way to the, to the top of my head. And uh, a brother named Daniel Bracken uh, spoke at our church and laid hands on me and I just fell out speaking in tongues and just weeping and ugly snot coming out my nose. And it was just so overwhelming, the feeling of just, just speaking in tongues between me and the Lord and I didn't do it for show because I covered my head and I prayed into my knees and I was speaking in tongues to where no one could even hear me. I wasn't doing it for a flex or like doing it to be like, oh, I'm so anointed, look at me. I just wanted the relationship between me and the Father to be able to have my own prayer language with him and I finally received it after like two years. So I, I say this to say, what is it that you're doing? Is it your faith isn't high enough? Is it, is it the devil's working on you telling you that oh as for everyone else but you um don't don't make yourself look foolish don't go out there saying things people are going to think you're faking it you know like we get in the way and we block these things and we let our ego get in the way we let our pride get in the way we don't want to look foolish we don't want to sound stupid we don't want to uh, put ourselves out there and be vulnerable and then God doesn't move you know um it's things like that that stop us from receiving the blessings of what God's trying to do in your life. And I encourage you, from a skeptic here, if you guys are doing these things, you're in the way of receiving what God's trying to do in your life. God does have a purpose for each and every one of us. And if we keep blocking and getting out of the lane that God has put us in, I promise you it's going to take us longer to get there. Don't take detours on God's path for you. Stick to the script. Follow the signs. Don't try to, to, don't question things. I, I promise you, we in our earthly mind don't understand what God's trying to do in the spirit. So if we just stick to the script, stay in the lane that we're supposed to be in, we'll arrive to our destination on time. Don't take detours. Stick to the spiritual GPS that God has implanted in you. Hopefully this uh, video encourages you guys. Sorry I didn't put a video together uh, that I normally do for my daily content. Like I said, I was at this uh, weekend or this conference all weekend long so that kind of took the focus so i pray this video encourages you guys subscribe to the channel for daily content uh share this video with someone that just seems like they need that little extra nudge to receive the blessings that god's been trying to do in their life and that's going to do it for this one and i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video stay tuned and god bless